come in, we are open. Life's no fun without a good scare. It can be a little freaky. The Squirrel Cage Jail is opening its doors on one of the most haunted nights of the year. We're holding flashlight tours for Friday the 13th, because how could we not do something on Friday the 13th? The flashlight tours give the community an opportunity to come out and celebrate the historic building in Council Bluffs. Just a great part of the history of Council Bluffs, and there's not very many around, so it's a good opportunity to see some part of history. Although the tour is all in part to get people excited for Halloween, it's more than just about the spooky holiday. It helps support the Squirrel Cage Jail and the Historical Society of Pottawatomie County because we have a lot of archives here. It's not all just about the jail, but it's about the history of Pottawatomie County and Council Bluffs. For some participants, it's a way to spend time with family. Just to have some Halloween fun with my grandkids. With being built in 1885 and functioning until 1969, there is no wonder lore has been spread. We've had um, a lot of reports over the years. I mean, we've been here 132 years now, so it gives you a lot of time to find reports. But there's been voices, there's been your hair has been played with, people's hats pulled off, just being poked. I've heard footsteps going up these front stairs. Although rumors have spread, it might not be such a bad thing. It is believed that if the jail is haunted, it's not a bad thing. It is believed that one of the jailers is still on duty here. So he's dedicated and taking care of the building and making sure everything is in order. The jail will be hosting flashlight tours once again on October 27th and 28th. For your Council Bluffs News, I'm Jalen Hinkle.